the major lesson here from this pandemic, uh, especially for low middle income countries, but even for high income countries, is that you cannot plan to you cannot plan to actually uh, mitigate the effects of a pandemic in the midst of a pandemic. That planning needs to take place way in advance. And that's the reason why a country such as South Korea, as well as Germany, was so highly efficient in terms of minimizing the number of people that developed severe disease. They were so highly efficient in terms of minimizing the number of people that died from COVID-19. In South Korea, they learned their lesson in 2002. Uh, when they basically, in 2012 actually, when they had a MERS corona outbreak, right? And it wasn't as a big outbreak as this particular outbreak, but they came short in terms of the response that they had to that particular outbreak. And at, you know, already then, they then put into place the necessary measures to deal with, an, uh, with the pandemic in the future. And that's the reason why they were able to achieve, accomplish what they accomplished so quickly in terms of controlling this. So the blessing is that all countries need to actually have been prepared for a pandemic. Uh, the other lesson for many African countries, including South Africa, is that an underinvestment in healthcare services unmasks itself, most frankly, when you're dealing with a pandemic. We've seen that we've got a fragile healthcare system. We're pretty much probably much better off than many other African countries, uh, but there's no way that our healthcare system is going to be able to cope with a surge of cases that's going to unfortunately occur over the next two to three months, and which will continue repeating itself, unfortunately, uh, until we have a vaccine, or at least until the end of 2021, 2022.